Hey everybody, it's Mariah Florette. <sighs> it's been a long time since I recorded a video. Um, a lot of things been going on. Classes, just life itself. Um, guys, I'm out of my hair. I'm coming with this video with all my flaws, hanging out, no makeup. No lip gloss, no moisturizer, got out the shower not too long ago, washed my hair, and um, I needed to make a video. Um, I talked to my sister Erin, and you know, she had already had her channel, but she never really posted on it, and then I made my channel and but now we're like trying to motivate each other to stay consistent and be consistent um with uploading videos so um my last situation that happened last time when i recorded the videos weren't uploading so i was just like whatever i recorded uh what's in my culinary case in January but never edited never posted it I had Christmas vlogs that just wouldn't upload so I just didn't do it so um I stopped trying to figure out why they weren't uploading so I stopped doing it um but other than that I'm gonna try to be consistent I'm gonna try to be I'm trying you know, stuff gets in the way, but you still have to go on. Um, so, I felt like I should come back on here and explain why I haven't been posting. So, that was the reason why, other than classes, you know, stuff's been going on. Other things that I can't talk about um, that's been going on as well. So, more of the story. Life. Life happens. Um, what else? However, I did, um, my team and I, in my most recent class, it was called Store Room, we went to a produce plant, or a produce terminal, um, in downtown Detroit. It was huge, it's huge. I feel like it's bigger than two football stadiums put together, like, it's huge very huge um so I, I do have that recording so uh uh yeah while I was recording I forgot to flip the phone and I had it straight so yeah it's not the best but it's something so okay so like I said that footage is not the best but it is something that I'm that I want to share because um, seeing going down there and seeing everything was just amazing like we've seen everything like I've never seen with a lot of people are not gonna find interesting that's fine that's fine you know everything is is it for everybody but there was a picture I mean not a picture I took a picture of it there was um garbanzo beans i've never seen a fresh garbanzo bean they've always been dried you know so or um in a can so um i seen that and i'll insert a picture um there was eggplant now the eggplants they were so pretty but you want to know why they were so pretty because they had wax on them However, I liked it. There were huge, huge onions, like a little bit smaller than my head. Like you know them were organic. You could tell them up. Those were not organic onions, we know. But um we learned a lot. We learned a lot. We learned about there were like gas chambers for the bananas. For the bananas to go in for the avocados to go in to ripen them 
like, <clears throat> excuse me. Now at the terminal, what they did was they would put the avocados in the room because they picked the avocados while they're still green, while they're still bright green. They bring them to, you know, let's say Michigan since that's where, you know, the little public place that I went. So they bring them to Michigan from Mexico to Michigan or wherever they get them from, but this place got them from Mexico. So they put all the avocados in this room and they sealed it, sealed the room very tight and they had this gas come into the room which forced the avocado to ripen, you know, because you can't send a ripened avocado because by the time it gets to us, it's gonna be bad. So they created that. I just, I just felt like that was pretty cool. Um, and again, with the banana, they had those, they would put them inside the little chamber and then they had like day one bananas were super green, day two bananas were light green and day three bananas were yellow and ready to be shipped to the store like Kroger or um, Meyer. So I thought that that was pretty cool. And um, there were like two, two sides that we went on. And what was interesting was both sides had um, different fruits or different size fruits and vegetables. Like on one side, they had like little small fingerling potatoes, you know, um, they had purple potatoes. The other side that we went on, they had like more heirloom tomatoes. And we had a guy who talked to us about, um, you know, the genetically modified food, foods. And he was saying like, basically, um, you know, they have like a whole, basically a whole little science lab of, um, you know, how they come up with foods. He was like, this is how we have so many different colors. He was like, this is how we have heirloom tomatoes because they take certain things out of different foods to get a product. And he was saying that's how we have um, a red pepper or a yellow pepper, you know, because they modified it to make it something else, you know? So I thought that was pretty cool. That was cool um, to know that. And I never seen, when we went there, I never seen they had like little, little tiny little um, strawberries. Um, then on the other side, they had like huge strawberries. Um, however, my project, what I basically focused on when I went was um, citrus fruits. Um, which in my group, we did the common citrus fruits. We did lemons and oranges and limes, um, grapefruits. So they had huge ones, like they were so big, but, um, I'm laughing because when I say huge, I don't know. I sound fascinated to me, but other people might not think that it's fascinating and that's fine. Like I said before, that's fine. That's cool. You know? find your own niche I have mine you find yours hmm. no but um yes yeah, so I'm gonna upload that um I don't know if it's gonna be today or tomorrow I could upload today that's no problem that's already edited this video isn't edited and I might not do a lot of editing to this what's the edit I'm already snappy chaplet <laughs> I don't know if I leave the link or her name in her um YouTube channel. I keep pointing, but uh, in the description below for you guys to check her out. She has some videos on hers already, and my little baby niece was born. Um, I'm trying to think, though, I still have that video when I went to go see her. I don't know, but yes, yeah, so my little baby niece. Alea was born. I like to call her Elea, but her name is Alea. But anywho, we'll talk about Alea another time. And um, thanks for watching. Thanks for 10 subscribers. I don't deserve you guys. I don't. But thank you. Um, 
yeah but i'll be posting bye guys